Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video is going to be getting ready to take my passport photo. So I actually have to take a photo, not exactly for my passport, but for my American visa that goes in my passport. So I thought I would show you guys how I get ready for that. Obviously with passport photos, they're meant to look like how you look accurately. So I'm not gonna be doing much face changing or feature changing techniques. So I thought I'd just get straight into it. The first thing I'm going to do is take my Wella hair powder. And I'm just gonna fill in a little bit of my hairline to make it look a little bit thicker in certain places, but trying not to, you know, bring it forward and make it look like a helmet or anything like that. See? I like to do this all the time. So it's almost very likely that I'd even have it on the, at the, you know, at the airport. So you don't wanna be doing anything that's gonna make you look too drastically different, obviously, because airports are already stressful enough. I'm going to use concealer, and then later on, if I need any foundation, I'll use that as well. I just got sent the Ultra HD by Makeup Forever in 30. And I'm just gonna put that in the areas that I have a lot of darkness, and just be kind of like not too heavy with it. Wait, let me zoom you in. And as you can see, that's a really good match for me. So not going too light with it because highlighting can change the appearance of your facial structure. I'm not gonna be doing that. My lips feel dry, I'm just gonna put a little bit of lip balm on. Now I'm going to take the YSL New Tint. This is a really good bare look finish to the skin. I use shade eight, which might be a little bit too deep for me right now because I'm a bit pale at the moment. So I'll just put a little bit on, luckily, because this is a translucent kind of coverage. You can sort of make it work for many different skin tones. Even if this looks too dark, it should suit me because my body is more tan than my face. This is a good one, it doesn't cover your skin. Just kind of, it looks so natural. You know, you could go no makeup in your passport photo, but sometimes when you travel, you do have makeup on, you know, it depends kind of where you're going, how far away your destination is. If I were, for example, flying within Europe and I was using my passport, I would very likely have makeup on. So I want it to look like me, but still a good version of me. So that's why I'm still gonna put at least a little bit of makeup on. I see some people do like full glam faces. I would not do that because I am already so freaking stressed at the airport that if, if the customs officer or the passport officer just looked at my passport for more than necessary at all, I would literally have a panic attack. Like I've had so many panic attacks. At, I actually had a major panic attack at Gold Coast Airport once and it was like for the dumbest reason to Brow gel and I'm picking one with a tint just so that it gives a bit of definition for the photo, but it's not gonna change the shape of my brow. Like I'm not gonna draw on eyebrows this time, even though I do quite enjoy doing that sometimes with a bit of pencil. This time I'm gonna be just sticking to enhancing what is already there. It looks nice. Other side. Damn, this makeup look is really revealing how my eyebrows do not match very well. I know that they're meant to be sisters, not twins, but still. Okay. Now I'm going to use this face palette from Hourglass. They release these every year. And I'm using the Universe one. It's nice, they're in tins this time. It looks good. So I'm gonna use this for my whole face, for my eyes, for my cheeks, all that jazz. I'm gonna start out, oh, I like how they have one big face color now. I'm gonna tap my brush into that, pat that over my eye, and my entire face. With the same brush, I'll add some bronzer. Sweeping it over the eyelid as well. Then some blush and I'll take the more like neutral colored one. I'm 
Now I'm going to use lip liner, but just keep it exactly on the shape of my lips and not go outside the lines. My favorite nude lip is the Chanel Rouge Coco Flash 54 Boy. Such a great nude color, oh my gosh. Then a little bit of brown eyeshadow as eyeliner. I'm just pressing it into the lash line to thicken up the look of the lashes. Raising my eyebrows a bit so I can get underneath for the inner corner. Okay, and so lashes as well, of course, but just mascara, not falsies. Okay, so I think that's probably done. And all I did with my hair was I let it air dry and then just use the Dyson heated round brush to just smooth it a little bit because my hair is naturally straight. So I didn't want to do anything too you know, intense with it. I didn't want to do waves or anything because I don't normally wear my hair in waves. That's the finished look. I'll probably also put my hair behind my ears so they can see my ears. And that's the full makeup look. Definitely techniques that I don't typically do, like I would definitely want to perfect my eyebrows a lot more. I would also usually want to wing out the eyeliner a little bit more. Um, I like to overline the top, my top lip a little bit and I often use cream products if I can, but because it's a photo, you know, I didn't want to be too reflective and in fact, I'll probably have to powder a little bit more before I get Seba to take my photo. I pretty much just used tones very similar to what's already in my face and body. I didn't change anything too much, just went nice and light with things and usually, as you guys know, I like to use a lot of cream products. Well, because it's a photograph, I didn't want to be too shiny or anything, so I used powders and it came out really nice. And these powders as well by Hourglass, they're definitely very like blurring and perfecting, so my skin is going to look really good in the photo. And so I'll make sure I include the photo that we took here. Um, and you can always check online the specifications required for passport and visa photos on your government website, so definitely do that. I've been and had my photo taken like at professional places before and they didn't, they weren't accepted. I had my Australian passport photo taken twice uh, and they were not accepted, so I ended up getting one taken at the actual passport office, which was so annoying because I know I could have taken a really good photo myself, especially because Sebastian and I have all our equipment, we have all of our lighting and we have all of the white walls and stuff like that, so. Definitely not wasting time and effort going around and getting that done at someone else's place. So I'm happy that I've saved money doing it this time and sharing it with you guys. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.